Okay, so after you have played the apple tree game with your students, um, and you can get them back to the, they could either be in a circle when you play that game, or they might be in rows. If they've been in a circle, you want them to come back into rows if you can. Just kind of feel it out. So let's say you've played the apple tree game, and it's time to hand out harmonicas. You've handed out harmonicas. You've gotten their attention, and they're all sitting there quietly waiting for you. And then you say, let's practice harmonicas up and harmonicas down. Um, when we're ready to play, I'll say harmonicas up. Harmonicas up. And everybody, harmonicas up. Harmonicas down. Harmonicas up. Ooh, very good. Harmonica's down. Harmonica's up. Harmonica's down. Okay, so I do that a couple of times until I feel like the class is really focused on that. And then their harmonicas, or harmonicas are down, and that's when I put up the song sheet. So in fifth grade, they're learning the individual notes. Hopefully they've been there in fourth grade to learn the chords and the zones of the harmonica, but you don't have to have one before the other. So I put this up on the Elmo so that they can all see. Their harmonica should still be down. You guys should act more like kids. You're like following all my directions. <laughs> <laughs> Lessons never go this smoothly. Okay, so when I put this up on there, I say there's a red arrow and there's a blue arrow. What do you think we need to do if you see a red arrow? What do you think we need to do? Really, it meant hot there. I can't remember what. That was blow in or out. I raised my hand. <laughs> blow out. Okay, so blow out. So what we're going to try is I'm going to point to the red arrow. When I point to red, that means... Did you notice how I did that? I didn't go... I went. It just needs to be like a sigh. Everybody sigh with me. Now, when you see a blue arrow, that means to draw air in. Let's try that. Now, notice when I draw in, it's like you have a big balloon in your tummy. You're going to fill up that balloon. So that's how you draw in. I'm going to show you what it sounds like when you draw in, if you fill up the balloon. Can you tell when I was drawing in and when I was blowing out? So if I'm holding or pointing to the red, everybody, let's have you blow anywhere on your harmonica that you would like to. Make sure your numbers are pointing to the ceiling. And when you see me point to red, can you all see this? On the Elmo, obviously they'd be able to see it bigger. But when you see me point to red, you're going to blow out. When you see me point to blue, you're going to draw in. Here we go. One, two, ready, and blow, 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 blow. Okay, draw in. In, in. Harmonica's down. Here's one thing that came up with every class that I've ever taught is they get really lightheaded because a lot of them are just, they're blowing far more than they need to, but they, it's just natural for kids. So if they say, oh, I'm getting so lightheaded, say so just put your harmonica down and you can take a break for a little bit. Um, and then when you're ready to play again, you can pick it up. Um, but that will probably, probably happen. Okay, now once they've kind of practiced that a little bit, we're going to say, okay, to play apple tree, we only need to use one hole instead of all those holes we are blowing into. On here, we're only going to use hole number four. So this is what it sounds like. Keep your harmonicas down. I'm going to put my fingers on numbers one, two, and three, and on five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so that all that's left is a little number four. Now listen, I'm going to blow out and draw in. 